Hello everyone. In this video, we will consider the regulated power supply circuit and explore the use of the measure directive in LTSPICE for parameter measurements. Recall that a regulated power supply circuit is a circuit which converts AC to DC and is robust to changes in the input voltage and load resistance. Measure is a SPICE directive which can be used to measure various circuit quantities in LT-SPICE simulations. The measure directives are applied in post-processing once the simulation is completed. The main steps in using the measure directive are shown here. A detailed explanation of these steps is provided in another video in this channel. A link to that video is provided at the end of this video. In this video, we will apply measure directives to transient analysis. We will see the use of interval, average, maximum, peak to peak and RMS measurements. We will also see the use of the trig and the tag points to define the range of measurement interval for periodic signals. In rectifier circuits, we typically deal with periodic signals. This figure here shows a typical sinusoidal input to a rectifier circuit. We need to specify a suitable periodic interval for performing the measurements. Typically, we avoid the first period, which may be impacted by circuit transients. Hence, we want to select the second time period for performing measurements. We can do this in the measure directive as follows. We select the threshold value for the trig and tag points as zero. We can choose between cross, rise and fall and we need to specify the instance each time the value crosses or rises or falls relative to the threshold values. In this figure, the instances are marked in black for cross, red for rise and green for fall. By choosing rise and 2 for the trig point and rise and 3 for the tag point, we can specify the second period. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this logic shown here in more detail. First, we consider a half wave rectifier circuit as shown. Here we are using a 1N4002 diode, which is not available by default in LTSPICE but can be easily added. The circuit theory for the half wave rectifier tells us that in this case, the peak value of the output voltage, the average output DC voltage and the peak inverse voltage uh, across the diode can be determined as shown. <clears throat> we can use interval measurement directive as shown to measure the input and output voltage time periods. We can use the max measurement directive to measure the peak values of the input and output and the peak inverse voltage rating of the diode. We can use the average measurement directive to measure the average value of the output. Here the input signal maps to node N001 and the output voltage maps to node N002. Hence, we specify the node voltages as shown. The trick and the tag parts of these directives are specifying the second period for performing the measurements as explained previously. We set the threshold zero for the input voltages. For the output voltages, we set the threshold to 0 0.01 
to avoid numerical convergence issues. This is the LTSPICE implementation for the half-wave rectifier with the measure directives. We run this simulation and we can look at the input voltage and the output voltage. By going to view and SPICE error log, we can see the results of the measurement directives. The values here agree with the predicted values. For instance, the measured value of V output DC is 2.86 volts, which is very close to the predicted value of 2.96 volts. Next, we consider a full wave or bridge rectifier. The circuit theory for the bridge rectifier tells us that in this case, the voltages of interest can be determined as shown. In this circuit, the input signal is connected between nodes N001 and N002 and the output voltage is at node N003. Using a similar approach as before, we can define the measure directives as shown. Please pause the video now if you wish to study these in more detail. When we simulate, we can obtain the results shown here, which agree with the predicted values very well. Note that when the input signal is full wave rectified, the frequency of the output signal is doubled. Hence, the time period of the output signal is halved compared to the time period of the input signal. We are now ready to consider our regulated power supply circuit as shown. The node voltages are marked. The turns ratio is 1 over 20 and we are using a 5.1 volt Zener. Thus the output voltage at node N004 is expected to be 5.1 volt constant DC. The construction of this circuit from first principle is discussed in another video in this channel. A link to that video is provided at the end. The measure directives to measure the peak RMS and time period of the input's voltage, the peak value of the transformer secondary output voltage, the peak to peak ripple voltage and the output voltage are shown here. The syntax and approach here is the same as before. For the peak to peak ripple voltage, the threshold value needs to be suitably determined by looking at the plot of the ripple voltage in LT Spice. This is the regulated power supply circuit in LT Spice. We can simulate and look at the voltages of interest. Also, we can look at the outputs of the measure directives. We can see that the output voltage is 5.14 volts. The peak to peak ripple voltage is about 3.2 volts. The ripple frequency can be determined by subtracting these two time values and taking the inverse. In this case, this value comes to about 97 Hertz, which is quite close to the 100 Hertz expected value. And this value is twice the frequency of the input signal. In summary, we have explored the use of the measure directives to automate the process of finding the parameters of interest in power supply circuits. This is an efficient way to find the results, which avoids the need to play around with placing and using cursors to read the values of interest. The links to the videos 
which are related are provided here. Please be sure to check them out. I hope this video is helpful to you in learning the advanced techniques to analyze LT SPICE simulation results for rectifier circuits in a professional manner. Thank you for watching the video and supporting this channel.